everybody welcome back to my channel it's janet and today we're going to do a little bit of a vlog style video i thought that i would include this probably like in the rotation of other videos just to like i miss you guys if i don't talk to you guys and i really don't want to change my uploading schedule if i can just throw out maybe like a day in the life vlog for you guys um i think that would probably work we're going to try it out and see how it goes but um, we hunting season started actually on Wednesday, the first Wednesday of November, and we here in Alberta hunt Wednesday through Saturday. So that is what we're going to be busy doing today. Actually, we are out hunting. But today is a little bit of a different video than just your normal hunting day because it is just now, I think it's eight o'clock. Uh, first light was that you are legally able to shoot deer um, was at 750 and it is now like i don't know after eight o'clock and <laughs> and jimmy is outside because our serpentine bell came off um so we had seen actually a, a herd of white tails because we have tags for white tail doe and muley does this year and then we also have a general general tag for a white tail buck this year so um first light we did see a little herd of white tails and here's jimmy i'm just decided to vlog oh, cool. yeah why, why, not? why not um so we did see a little herd and we came back around to like our area where we always hunt and we had a snowfall probably a couple of days ago we had a huge um snowstorm so we do have quite a bit of snow and the road that we it's not really a road honestly it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere but it is like kind of like a a, a path where you can drive on to get to the other side and so we took that road which isn't too too bad but then it turned out that it got the deep the snow got deeper as we went along so Jimmy realized that the snow was really, really deep and then we had stopped and he put it in reverse because there was no place to turn around whatsoever. And we went in reverse all the way back to like the area with not too much snow. And the truck started to overheat and then obviously there was not smoke, but smoke kind of coming from the front steam. of the steam coming from the, the hood of the truck. And so Jimmy got out to see what was going on and he realized that the serpentine belt had come off. So now for the last like 15 minutes or so, um, Jimmy has been outside trying to get that belt back on. But he's a trooper. He, I know he can do it. He can literally do anything, right? The left hand side is on. Oh, we're halfway there. Yeah, that's the hardest part. You had to go underneath. Oh, I see you have to go on the ground. But it is chilly out. That's another thing is it's about minus 12 degrees Celsius, somewhere around there. It kind of fluctuates, but um, it's definitely chilly. It's definitely chilly out and we've had the truck off. It's staying pretty warm in the truck, um, but definitely outside it is a bit chilly. Lucky there's no wind and luckily it's not like minus 30 degrees Celsius uh, because if, it, if it's that cold, then it makes it really, really tough, but... Jimmy, Jimmy's a man's man and he definitely can fix anything and do anything in any sort of temperature. So I really have no worries. Um, so I'm just kind of on the lookout for, for deer. <laughs> <laughs> like they're going to walk up and just, you know, help us fix this, right? Is your rifle ready? Yeah, my rifle. My rifle's always ready. Have you shown him your rifle? No, I don't want to show it on YouTube. No. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to chill. And this is actually, it's a good spot anyways for deer, um, you know, and we're staying warm. So it, it's, it's no big deal. We actually like, it's all in the fun of hunting, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> Show you Jimmy. There's Jimmy. So Jimmy, how's your day? Good. <laughs> the good thing about all of this is that Jimmy doesn't really get too, too phased when things go wrong. I'm usually the one to panic. And the one to, uh, like, fluster, I guess you would say, right? I'm not at work. Yeah, that's that's the good thing. Jimmy's not at work, so it doesn't even... We could stay here all day. It wouldn't even matter. Wouldn't bother me. 
<laughs> but we will definitely keep you guys posted. Like I said, today's just going to be kind of a vlog. I just want to include one of these a week um, because it is really busy for us. So I thought if one of the videos out of the week is kind of like a vlog style or less, less structured, at least it is a video to put out there. And I thought today would be a perfect day to, to kind of do a vlog because there's something interesting happen, happening. The day's not over yet. The day just begun. So we, <laughs> we will keep you guys posted. Roger that. Right. All right, we are, I think it's after 11 now. We're going into like over three hours of being stranded. Jimmy's getting so close to getting it fixed, but we he just says he needs a socket set to let off the tension in order to put on the belt. And that's the problem because we have other tools, but we don't have a socket set. So there is a farmer nearby um, that I we know and we have a contact for her and texting and phone numbers so I did text her about an hour ago but she was bringing back farm equipment and she actually had a flat tire but she just messaged me right now that she is back and she asked if we got it and we said no and she said that she'll be up right away and she'll bring up a socket set because that's all we need Jimmy Jimmy says um so hopefully we'll be getting it fixed I thought like it's just that it's just the tension is so tight on it right like for this belt um that's the only issue that we're having but i'm hoping that um when this farmer comes up that we'll be able to get it fixed once we get the socket set but i definitely will keep you guys posted um we did see some more deer but they were just too far away to get a shot off um because we're just sitting duck so it's no big deal if we do get a deer then that's a bonus right um, but I definitely will keep you guys posted. Jimmy is, um, he's still outside trying to get it. I feel so bad. I wish there was something that I could do. All right. I just wanted to give you a little update on our hunting trip because it is a couple days later and oh my gosh, it turned out to be such a horrible, horrible day of hunting. So we ended up getting it fixed. I don't think I put that in the vlog. So it was such a horrible day hunting. So we did get it fixed after four and a half hours of sitting ducks. I actually had a contact for a farmer that was in the area because we did get permission to hunt on their land in that area. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to text message her and see if she can help us out because the only thing that we needed was a socket. And... I texted the farmer lady and she was like, yeah, for sure. I have a flat tire and I'm on my way back and I will text you when I get back to make sure that you're still there and still stranded. So I said, okay, sounds good. So she messaged, yes, we were still stranded. We, was, we were still sitting ducks and she came to the rescue. She brought a, a whole bunch of sockets and Jimmy had found the socket that he needed to loosen the tension and then able to get the belt on so jimmy had actually got the belt on a couple times however everything on the pulley system has to be exactly on on the pulley correctly the belt which it, it wasn't if it's off like the tiniest little bit all of it will slip and just fall off and that's what had happened twice actually he did get it but then it just slipped off so we definitely needed a socket to loosen off that tension in order to get the belt on got it fixed and we were like okay perfect we're on our way we will go down to our other spot where we hunt down by a river and continue hunting well <laughs> the roads to get there are like gravel roads not even gravel roads actually it's just kind of crossing over a field and there are roads but it's just through a farmer's field right and which we have permission to go on and everything like that However, they were completely snowed in because like I mentioned, we got a whole bunch of snow. Today, we have another snowstorm of like 25 centimeters coming down and it was just too much snow. And we were already like kind of bummed out because of the scenario with the belt falling off. And Jimmy was like, you know what? I really don't want to get stuck because then Jimmy's going to have to shovel. He's going to have to get us out. And he was already for four hours trying to get that belt fixed underneath the truck on top of the truck trying to get it all and so we were like okay we'll go back up to that one spot where we were and you know we'll we'll watch for deer 
And once you know it, we did not see any more deer for the rest of the day. It was just, we were just bummed out. It was not a good day at all for hunting. And the next day we actually decided that we weren't going out. We, we plan on going out Fridays and Saturdays and that was on Friday. And on Saturday we said, you know what? I am not, we're not coming out here again because we couldn't even get down to the area by the river. And the, the place on top where we were hunting isn't a large area. So you're literally sitting there and that is not how Jimmy and I hunt. We like to keep busy and drive and like hunt for the deer. Not exactly the deer come to us. We like to hunt for the deer, right? Um, so yeah, we called it quits and we didn't go out on Saturday. Today is now Monday when I'm just quickly recording this, but I wanted to give you guys a little update that we were all okay. We made it home safely, but it was kind of a horrible first day out hunting. So we will try again this weekend. But like I said, there is even more snow coming down right now as of today and if that snow doesn't kind of pack down we aren't able to get down by the river where we where we prefer to hunt so we'll see it's it time will tell and i really don't want to get stuck for jimmy's sake because i'm not much help if we get stuck like jimmy's the one we have a shovel but jimmy's the one to like shovel us out and like push us out i'm just the person like driving you know what i mean when that ha does happen so i feel really bad if we do get stuck because it's so much work for jimmy and um we'll see we'll see how it goes we are just honestly we are so busy anyways to be hunting so it kind of worked out really really well um in this case because we did have an elk that one of our friends got and so jimmy had to butcher that on sunday and then i had a ton of orders that i needed to do and I think I had like 33 orders that I needed to do. So Zoe came over to help me on Sunday and we pushed out a, a few. And I still have tons that I need to do today and this week. So I am going to include a video like this just once a week, just to kind of give you updates on what we're doing. And just kind of, you know, for me and Jimmy, not necessarily food wise or low carb or keto or anything like that. Just kind of like a vlog just showing me and my family. Um, some of you I know really, really enjoy that. So thank you once again for sticking around. I know that video that came out on Monday was kind of maybe a shock to a lot of people. I did lose a lot of subscribers, which I am actually surprised because I just realized that those people really aren't watching my channel for me. They were just watching it for keto content. And, you know, it kind of makes me sad because you guys are my friends. I consider you all my friends. And to think that somebody can just, like, drop me just, like, in an instant, it kind of was a quick reality check to know that maybe people that are watching are just here to watch keto and, you know, not necessarily to care about me and my life, but just for the keto content. But I also said to, I was talking about Jimmy before I even put out that video. I want to stay 100% authentic to myself. I will never come on here and say, oh, I'm still doing keto. I'm still doing fantastic. And you know what? Keto is the greatest thing and all of this. Like that is not how I feel right now. Things change, feelings change. And, you know, for me to go low carb is honestly the best thing. I already feel so much better without having all of that pressure of staying in ketosis and eating only this and not having that. Like, I can't live my life like that. I cannot. And I find there is a lot of people, a lot of people in the keto world that are worried about numbers, that they're willing to do anything to get those numbers. And I will never be like that. I Life is way too short. I'm telling you right now, life is way too short to live your life like that. And if that's how you want to live your life for the rest of the life of your life that you have on this earth, then by all means, go ahead. I am not that person. Life is way, way too short to be literally eliminating, eliminating, eliminating to the point where you're just in like eating one thing or two things or whatever you whatever it is it's just mind blowing like keto the keto community it's gotten way out of proportion i'm i'm telling you right now and like i'm sorry if you don't agree with this but this is what i see from my point of view and channels that are doing keto are taking it really out of text they're really eliminating a lot of things that are keto like you know i don't know how to put this without sounding awful but like for example dairy okay dairy does dairy bother bother me probably it probably is an inflammation and it probably does cause some water weight 
but I can't live my life without dairy for the rest of my life. And I, I won't. I will not. If it causes me a little bit of inflammation and a little bit of water gain, you know what? I'm okay with that. It, it is what it is. I love my keto pizza. I love... I just love cheese in general. I love making the cheese shells or wrapping my hot dog in cheese. Like, I love that. And if it causes me a little bit of inflammation or a little bit of weight gain, I'm not giving that up for the rest of my life. And I feel like a lot of YouTubers are going to the extent to say, I'm never going to have this again because it causes me inflammation. That's not reality. Unless, unless it's for health reasons. Then I totally agree. But if it's just... If you're doing like, like I said, the BBBE really messed me up. And it was because it was so restrictive. Keto is restrictive as it is, let alone doing something like a BBBE challenge or carnivore challenge. Like I, I love meat. Everybody that knows me, I love meat, but I cannot live off of just meat. I need my cheese and I'm not even a big vegetable or fruit fan, but I just need variety in my life. So, um, let it be known. I just want to thank you for everybody that has stuck around and I hope you understand from where I'm coming from. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for being my friends and being supportive. And that's all I need right now. So I thank you to every single one of you out there that have stuck with me and are still sticking with me. I appreciate all of you. That is it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next video.